Tonight, much of the country is grappling with extreme weather. More than 30 million people across seven states are in the grip of a sweltering heat wave. Another 30 million are at risk for severe storms. Meteorologist Jeff Berardelli is here. And Jeff, let's start with the heat. What can we expect? Yes, yeah, the middle of August. Summer is in full effect, and it's going to be with us at least through the middle of the upcoming week. About 30 record highs are possible across the nation. It's covering a big part of the country. With feels like temperatures Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, 100 to 110, especially in the nation's middle. That's Oklahoma. That's Texas. Now, in the north side of this ridge, we're going to see severe weather overnight tonight. Watch out in places like Minneapolis. I think we're going to see some, maybe some baseball size hail, some wind gusts up to around 70 miles an hour in the northern plains. And then as we head towards the south, we've had as much as a foot of rain on the Gulf Coast. Could see another 5 to 10 inches with lots of tropical moisture moving on shore. There's a slight chance it could become a tropical depression, but more likely it's just flooding rain that we're concerned about. Well, then you go ahead and look at Alaska, the other side of the country. They've had extreme heat as well. It's been an incredibly warm month in Alaska and really an incredibly warm summer so far. We have another big record-breaking ridge. So far in Anchorage this summer, we've seen 30 days at 75 degrees or above that. The old record was only 15 days, and that was set just back in 2015. That's what's happening. The Arctic is changing rapidly because of human-caused climate change. Unbelievable. Jeff, thank you.